If your mouth isn't healthy, there's a plethora of other things that fall and your immune system is one of those things. Girl, you've got questions. Questions about your body and how to feel good in it, about your hormones and how to keep them in check. Questions about your sex life and your whole health. Can you imagine having a best girlfriend who was also a triple board certified OBGYN? A girlfriend doctor you could call and ask or tell her anything. Someone who could show you how to live any stage of life before, during, or after menopause in a big, bold, and beautiful way. Well, friends, I'm your girlfriend doctor. I believe you were meant to flourish and shine, to embrace life and awaken to all its possibilities. Let's get there together. Welcome to our show. Oral health is critical to our overall health in our body. And it's something that I've struggled with my entire life, as well as my youngest daughter really struggled with oral health cavities and had to find natural solutions. I had a root canal in my 20s that got infected and led me to have it pulled not too long ago, but as a result of, you know, like exacerbated probably by chronic stress, by um, very acidic lifestyle, right? Before I knew the keto green way, right? Before I discovered that and how important our oral health is to the quality of our entire health. As an OBGYN, I know this is true for pregnancy and working with women through generations, oral health, jaw integrity, as women get older with osteoporosis, losing the bone, you know, disintegrating bone or even um, necrosis of the bone in your mouth. I mean, it leads to devastating conditions and I don't want anyone to experience that. I think what's really fascinating, and I brought on one of my dear friends, and I brought her on before, Trina Felber, who is a nurse anesthetist, and she is the leader in natural oral health care for overall health. She's the creator of Primal Life Organics, and she's been a good friend. She's a 25 years as a registered nurse and just has a tremendous amount of information, as you will see. And I definitely will link our prior episodes. But a couple of things that we're going to talk about is the you know increased risk in, in disease certainly that's related to the bacteria in our mouth from dementia to cardiovascular disease to erectile dysfunction and certainly how that affects our overall health and quality of life and just a few things that we really want to focus on in oral health and that is you know alkalinity and it's so it's so true As, you know acidic saliva tends to happen more frequently as we get older, but alkalinizing our saliva, especially as our hormones are declining, using minerals to remineralize our teeth versus strip them from the very layer of protection that we absolutely need and detox, how important detox is and cleansing the tissues. So as well, we've got a glimpse into some, you know, cutting edge laser therapy, uh, red light therapy for our mouth and gums, for our teeth and gums. And it's really a beautiful discussion. I look forward to hearing what you take home from this and what your next right step is. So let me introduce you to Trina. Here we go. Welcome to the Girlfriend Doctor Show. It is great to have you back on my show. I love having you on. And I love having a girlfriend doctor. That, that just is so powerful. Every woman needs a girlfriend doctor and you're the bomb. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's really about getting the information out, getting the truth out about what's going on in our health. And I wanted to emphasize the importance of oral health as oral health is the gateway, right? We just, it's not just the passageway for food kisses, right? <laughs> so no, it's not, it's not, <laughs> it, there's so much, it is a first line of defense. And so um, for our entire health, for systemic health. So I definitely want to talk with you about it and to give some updated information. You guys will put the links to our prior shows with Trina on the Girlfriend Doctor Show. We've done some amazing, had amazing conversations and, um, and really want to dive into now whether you're you know, the different stages of life, whether you're a child, whether you're in, pregnant or, you know, someone who is, right? Whether you're going through menopause and, um, and are, are 
feeling some changes. Some one of the common changes is, you know, burning mouth syndrome or, you know, dry teeth, dry gums, increase in dental cavities after not having them for decades. And there's a reason for this. So um, Trina, welcome back. <laughs> Oh, thank you. It's always a pleasure mouthing off with you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And we're big fans. We're, you know, I'm a, my family is big fans of Trina's products and we've been, we've known each other for years now and it's something that goes with us everywhere. So it's good the test Same of here, time. Ditto. Yep. Stood the test of time. And so Trina, let's talk about the reason why, I mean, and some of the current research, current data on oral health and I mean, everything from diabetes to heart disease to, you know, just name it. Well, I grew up and I'm sure you did with the saying, good health starts inside your mouth. And I, I, I mean, I never stopped to think, what does that really mean? We hear it we, we believe it to be true, but we don't even understand what that really means. And I have come to the conclusion that good health starts inside your mouth. If you don't have the right bacteria inside your mouth, if your mouth is full of acids and you have um, plaque growing and bacteria and gum disease, that is exactly where good health stops. Because if your mouth isn't healthy, there's a plethora of other things that fall um, and your immune system is one of those things and then that deteriorates as well as all the other functions um, we can talk about but really quick i'll go through um we were talking about this before we hit the record button and um dr mercola on his site um, he's now starting to talk more about dental health i was just at a the biohacking event um, and saw dr anna there and on stage she mentioned how important dental health is but I want to read this to you because it's super, super um, important. Health risks associated with poor oral health by Dr. Mercola. People who fail to brush their teeth twice a day may be putting themselves at risk of heart disease. And advanced gum disease can raise your risk of a fatal heart, heart attack up to 10 times. There's also a 700% higher incidence of type 2 diabetes with those who have gum disease, courtesy of the inflammatory effects of unbalanced microflora inside your mouth. Other health issues associated with poor oral health include an increased risk of bad breath, which is also known as halitosis, dementia, um, saying that uh, your, your increased risk of dementia is 65% higher when you fail to brush twice a day compared to when you brush three times a day. Pneumonia is also your higher risk. And in this day and age, when there's so much going on with breathing um, and, and the quality of our air and other things, um, it's so important to keep your lungs healthy, but it's been shown to, um, good oral hygiene has been shown to lower your risk of pneumonia by 40% percent erectile dysfunction and this isn't just for men this is women because we have some needs too it's all related to um, blood flow right, right. but orgasmic dysfunction loss of orgasm mm -hmm. all of that yes and we don't think about our mouth as being associated with that so erectile dysfunction is more than twice as common among those with periodontitis um, than those without it meaning gum disease or um, inflammatory mouth is what I like to call it and then also kidney disease is also more prevalent in anyone that has um, the wrong microbiome inside their mouth so those are just some starting points there's more 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 that we can talk about pregnancy and how does that affect your baby's health if your mouth isn't healthy is or isn't healthy how does it affect your baby and your pregnancy um, as well as babies you know different birthing you know if you have a c-section versus a vaginal birth the microbiome inside the vagina is where the baby is it's first needed. exposed mm -hmm. yeah yep. it's needed and and that baby gets the bacteria inside the nose and the mouth takes their first breath drinks their first sip of milk and that bacteria goes into their gut and that's how they build their immune system. That's how important your mouth is. Yeah. And I think it's like, there's so much I want to uh, circle back on here because I'm sure our audience is thinking this. All right. Which came first, the erectile dysfunction or the oral disease? <laughs> or is it just me thinking this? I don't know. <laughs> but 
microvascular disease causes erectile dysfunction, and that's a really big issue from hyperglycemia, but also that a whole concept of oral, oral health, oral hygiene, and it's not a sterile mouth that we're requiring here. We need healthy gut bacteria, just as we need healthy bacteria in the vagina, we need our healthy bacteria in the mouth. And, and it's, it's so important. I mean, really, we're known in 20 seconds of kissing, even, even less, to transmit over 20 million bacteria with one kiss. I mean, so, so I mean, it's, it's the first line of your mouth is your first line of defense. And so let's, let's talk about that. Ver, a, a clean, healthy, you know, uh, normal bacteria, normal flora-rich mouth with good saliva and good salivary secretions, more on the alkaline side versus acidic side, because that will erode your teeth. So again, if I'm gonna push the keto green diet, I'm gonna say alkalinize, alkalinize, alkalinize your food sources, because it affects every aspect of your health versus the Listerine mouth, right? Yeah, totally, totally. Listerine mouth leads to gum disease, um, primarily because it kills everything. It sterilizes your mouth, just like Dr. Anna was saying. You don't. The goal isn't to get rid of all the bacteria. You have to have the good bacteria inside your inside your mouth in order to do a bunch of stuff. Part of it is to fight off the bad bacteria because if you have good bacteria, you're going to have more of an alkaline environment, and the bad stuff can't grow and and in the alkaline environment. So you're gonna have less plaque, you're gonna have less mineral loss from your teeth, so your teeth will be stronger, and you'll be healthier in the long run. Um, really quick, when you were talking about kissing, this is really interesting. Um, I had a friend of mine who's a dentist, and she was telling me about, about a client of hers who came in and had great dental health all her life. Like she's been her dentist for a really long time, got divorced and ended up, um, starting to date. She started dating a little while after her divorce, came in for her checkup, and all of a sudden her gums were looking unhealthy and she had cavities. She had a couple cavities. Her mouth was just becoming um, more and more um, diseased, if you will. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as any dentist, most dentists, they, they don't really dive into what's going on into your, in your life to figure out what the root cause is, but her dentist did. She said, what's going on in your life? I need to know why your mouth is not doing what it had been doing. This is not normal for you. So she dug a little deeper. Yes, you got divorced. Are you dating anyone? Yes, I'm dating someone. What, tell me about his dental health. What's his mouth like? And she said, oh, he's got the worst mouth ever. His teeth are kind of eroded. They're dark. They're, um, he's got some broken and chipped teeth. His gums are probably not the healthiest. She was actually catching gum disease from her boyfriend yeah. through kissing. Yes. The bacteria yeah. is contagious. It is contagious. And if your mouth, ultimately, if you're being exposed that much to the bacteria, it's going to be harder and harder for your mouth to stay healthy. So it is really important for you to get on board, but also bring your partners and your family on board as well, because um, it really is a community. The people that you live with and surround yourself with and closest with, oral health can be impacted by those closest to you. Yeah, no, that is such a good example. That is fascinating. And, um, and just to really recognize that's the truth all the way around, right? And um, it goes beyond a, as a gynecologist, right? Focused on vaginal health. Right? We say, okay, keep those dirty dicks away, <laughs> right? We need to do that. So how does dirty that, mouth? I know. So the the same for the, truthfully, the same for oral health, and it's so important to our immune system because the poor, you know, when we have poor dental health and gums. And I'll tell you, you know, a bit of my story too, in just with oral health, you know how your dentist will measure your gum recession, right? And there's been a time or two where it's like, okay, well, you know, you have this gum recession, we need to do the scraping procedure. And it's really invasive. I'm like, heck, you know, like, really? And so I looked, uh, let me give me a few months, and I'll come back. And We'll, we can assess the situation. We'll do it then. It's like, it doesn't get better, right? It only gets worse is what the dentist told me. And I'm a functional medicine doctor. I'm preventive medicine. I'm anti-aging. I'm like, I'm going to turn the clock back on my mouth, right? And so using a chewable probiotic, I used um, the one from Zymogen, an oral chewable probiotic, worked with Primal Life Organics, it's one of the first times when I found your stuff, you and your stuff, we met, it was like serendipity. Wow. Using your tooth powders, right? And um, brushing, you know, I, I like twice a day for me is good brushing. Is that kind of like looking at that three times a day? I'm like, okay, <laughs> well, I'm eating twice a day. So that may make a difference too. 
So diet makes a big difference. It does. And you eat healthy. Yeah. I'm not eating sugar. So uh, mostly, although this flourless chocolate tort, I do regress. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we go. Regress and digress. But, um, but so, you know, and, and I went back in, so doing that and then pick, you know, picking up the flossing again, it's not, you know, just that's, anyway, picking up the flossing again, these things that really can make a difference in, in your life. And I went back and they're like, oh, nope, you don't like you, for my next cleaning. So I actually went back six months later for the next cleaning. And they're like, I'm like, well, how does my mouth look? Cause it looks fine. I'm like, okay, the recession. And it's just like, it's, it's, it's fine. And I was like, okay, that's good. So it that, really reversed that. Ever, that's the most important thing. Cause if you go to most dentists, they will tell you that you're on that path and you can't reverse it. And that's so wrong. It's not true at all. You can reverse re gum recession. I have done it numerous times for clients of mine. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And it's really important. You just have to stop the reason that your gums are receding. There's a bunch of reasons why gums can can be recessed. One of the main things is brushing way too hard. Most people using a manual toothbrush brush way too hard and using a hard toothbrush, you've got to throw that away only soft. Your gum tissue is made of epithelial cells and it's very delicate. It's high blood flow, lots of blood in your gum tissue, which is why it's so important to keep it healthy because bacteria, that's a, a gateway for bacteria to get into your body is if your gums are bleeding and there's an open, basically an open portal, an open door for bacteria to get in. And then once it gets into your bloodstream, it's your vascular system, then it travels throughout your body. So that's why there's that link between heart disease. That's why there's that link between Alzheimer's and um, diabetes and infertility for both men and women, as well as preterm labor and baby's health, um, because there's a direct blood link inside your mouth with bacteria. So that's why it's so important the erectile dysfunction comes um, possibly from the nitric oxide. We haven't even talked about nitric oxide. A lot of people don't even understand what it really does and what it's capable of, but it is a vasodilator, meaning that it takes a vessel that's small and can make it larger, which is why in heart health, you can understand in heart health why that's so important to have nitric oxide, because if your vessels are too small or too little, or the diameter is compromised because there's plaque, there's less blood flow getting back to your heart, less oxygen is really the key component, less oxygen to the muscle. If there's not enough oxygen to the muscle and your heart becomes stressed, you increase your heart rate, then it can't recover and you have cell death, which is what a heart attack really is. But if you can increase the diameter through nitric oxide and other things, um, then, and, and getting rid of the plaque, you know, through procedures or whatever, but if you can increase the diameter, you can increase the blood flow and keep the oxygen level up so that if your heart rate goes up and you're exercising or stressed or whatever, you, your heart muscle won't die because it will get enough blood flow and enough oxygen, which is the key component. But if your mouth bacteria, this is the way your mouth is linked to all this. If your mouth bacteria is not healthy, then nitric oxide cannot be produced optimally. So you're going to have a decrease in the amount of nitric oxide your body is creating because there's a the, the way nitric oxide is produced it is a pathway between your gut bacteria and your mouth bacteria to produce nitric oxide and the same thing for erectile dysfunction in both men and women and think of all organs that need blood flow everything needs blood flow but what functions better at higher blood flow not just your heart not just your sexual organs but your brain as well everything your kidneys everything functions better with higher blood flow so that's the primary like for me you know gum disease is so detrimental for a lot of reasons but being a nurse anesthetist, I understand that if you're not getting oxygen to the organs, the vital organs especially, but the organs that need it, then there's going to be some compromise and some death at some level. So making sure your bacteria inside your mouth is healthy is going to help you keep a good amount or produce a good amount of nitric oxide. Yeah, no, and I think like making that connection between oral health you know, good bacteria within the oral mucosa and nitric oxide. I hadn't heard that connection before, Trina. So can you explain a little bit more for me? Um, let me let me read to you what I've got here because this will make more sense. So this will this will give you. So your oral health determines if your body can produce enough nitric oxide. Nitric oxide reduces inflammation, improves digestion, sleep quality, immunity, memory, behavior, and more. Like we were talking about erectile. Um, 
Without a healthy balance of bacteria in the mouth, your body will not produce enough nitric oxide. Nearly 100% of the nitrates we consume get absorbed through the gut wall. About 25% of the nitrate gets concentrated in the salivary glands and released into the oral cavity. It is here that the friendly bacteria interact with nitrate, reducing it to nitrite, with, which then gets swallowed and absorbed through the intestine. So it's this loop, it's a circle, it's a loop. Um, with the help of specific enzymes, this nitrite gets reduced further to bio, its bioactive form, nitric oxide. In order for the enterosalivary circuit to be performing optimally, the gut and the oral microbiome must be healthy and your beneficial bacteria must be in good supply. So that's the reason you don't want to sterilize your mouth because you need to have that good bacteria because it's essential for health and it's essential for not just your mouth health, but obviously all the vital organs of your body. I think that's a fascinating connection to make because when you do think of cardiovascular disease, you need healthy amounts of nitric oxide for vasodilation, circulation in general, right? And if we're looking at, um, you know, that decline in oral back, I mean, we should have an over-the-counter test for this. I mean, one of the things that I would do with my patients is have them just check salivary pH periodically. Now it's so variable because of what we eat and stress level and all those things. Um, and speaking of oral health, probably one of the reasons I had that recession is probably very acidic at that time because of high stress, high cortisol. I was in the throes of post-traumatic stress. And so, you know, that's something we have to consider how our mind-body connection is constantly at work for us or against us. So creating these practices, you know, all the things that I talk about to build oxytocin, right? To increase alkalinity, to manage and lower, um, modify cortisol are critical for overall health. And so coming back to oral health, things that we can do to not neglect our oral health because we want our teeth and gums healthy for a lifetime. And what we, you know, especially women as we get older, we lose the integrity of our jaw, the bone muscle in our jaw. And, and again, eating healthy, eating foods that you can tear, rip apart, right? And chew on. It's, it's critical for oral health. And that's where I've seen many women's health um, slide over, over the years is in association with oral health, just from function, structure and function. And then we add in this important piece of, of healthy bacteria, um, healthy vascularity in the in your mucosa from the gums to your tongue to the glandular secretions and it's true there are estrogen receptors within our mouth and as our hormones decline just like we can get dry vagina we can have these changes in our mouth so beyond hormone replacement therapy it's working on supporting our adrenals supporting on our hormones and you know supporting all our hormones but also really like doing the next right thing for our mouth so i want to talk about the remineralization of our teeth you know why you know like the whole concept of your of your dental pow powders your gum serums and um the the you know, um, red and blue la laser light, red and blue lights for dental health and how important that is and how that can make a big difference as we age to keep that gorgeous, healthy smile. Again, the gateway to optimal health and beauty from the inside out. And here's the thing that everyone needs to understand. It's not hard. This is super easy. I'm really only switching what you're using and maybe adding a little treatment um, with what we'll talk about with the, the, light, the LED light um, once or twice a week after your initial couple weeks using it. Um, it's really important to understand that saliva really is the lifeblood of your, of your mouth. If your saliva is not healthy and you're not producing enough saliva, everything else is gonna start to fall. Um, and stress, you were talking about stress when you were stressed and that's when your mouth started to suffer. Stress is, is um, very impactful. It reduces our saliva. We don't even know it. We don't even think about it. It's, it just happens. When you are stressed, and in this day and age, who isn't stressed? We don't need to compound that 
with uh, the wrong products, using products that increase more acid. We don't need to compound that with eating the wrong foods, especially sugar. You know, sugar can really be detrimental to your mouth because it feeds the wrong bacteria. When you think about our oral health, supporting our saliva, supporting the, the teeth and the gums, you will ultimately end up, if, you, if you're doing the right thing, you will end up with fresh breath. I always say that is the telltale sign that you're doing it right. It's also the first sign that you're doing something wrong. If you suffer from bad breath, and I mean even first thing in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, you should not have what I call foul mouth or bad breath. Bad breath is a sign that there's an imbalance and too much bad bacteria takes over your mouth and the good bacteria can no longer thrive. And it, it, it's really your body signal to you that you need to make a change or you are going to end up with less saliva, weak teeth that has lost enamel. You're going to end up with gum disease, which then leads to periodontitis, which can affect, like Dr. Ann was talking about, bone tissue and other supporting tissue, the muscle as well, your parotid glands. All of this is all connected and all related. Furthermore, down that chain is that everything inside your mouth that you have inside your mouth, so whether it's from food, it's from breathing in the air, you know, anything, you swallow. You swallow everything. That's kind of a disgusting thought. Like, people don't think about that. Whatever is in your mouth, you swallow. Unless you spit, you swallow. And even every time you salivate without even thinking and you swallow, every time you take a drink of coffee or water, whatever is inside your mouth, the bacteria, the good, the bad, the ugly, all goes to your gut. That's what it's going to feed and seed your gut bacteria. Your, your mouth is your connection. That bacteria is your connection from your gut to the outside environment. So think of it this way. Your immune system really does start inside your mouth. Your saliva, if you're not producing enough of it, your saliva has proteins in it um, that are antimicrobial, antibacterial, and antiviral. And if you're not producing healthy or enough saliva, you will not be able to eliminate viruses, bacteria, fungus, any microbes that shouldn't be there inside your mouth. They will get swallowed and then there becomes the component of what does it do inside your gut? What if it gets absorbed through your gum tissue? If you have what I call leaky gum uh, syndrome where you have inflammation in your gum tissue or you actually have breakdown where you have bleeding gum, gum tissue, that is the portal of entry for bacteria, viruses, all of that. But your saliva really should be your first defense against these um, things that are you're coming in contact with. Your saliva also should have minerals in it. So this also is like a circle. If you have leaky gut syndrome and you're not absorbing your minerals, you're not absorbing your nutrients from the foods that you're eating, you're passing them all the way through, then you're not going to have enough minerals in your saliva to remineralize your saliva. Same thing happens during pregnancy. You're, you're creating another human and that human needs bone and needs teeth and they are taking the, the, the minerals from you to help them create what they need to sustain life. So this is why moms at the end of birth, um, a couple weeks after birth, will go see their dentist and have sensitive teeth or cavities or even gum disease. And it's related to the fact that their saliva has been impacted. And it's very simple. The fixes are really simple. Once you know that it's a cycle, it's a big cycle. If you can heal your mouth, you can potentially then heal your gut. You know, there's more things that you might need to do, but you can potentially solve that problem, heal your gut, then your saliva can be healthy. You can now produce good nitric oxide, which will also furthermore increase the good bacteria inside your, inside your mouth. Um, the problem with this, the, the ingredients and the products that we're using today is that, that most of them, if you're buying off the shelf, and by that I mean like big Cosmo, if they're the big brands, most of them start with a C, you know what I'm talking about, you're pretty much buying something that is only going to create the acid inside your mouth. If you are creating more acid and you're stressed out and you're eating the wrong foods, the products that you're, you're using are only going to amplify that probably 100%. So making a switch with the products that you're using uh, is going to have a huge impact, even if you still aren't eating the healthiest 
and you still have stress because sometimes those factors are more difficult to change. Like you can change your diet. That's great. We'll still cheat and do things. Um, stress, we can, we can try to reduce, but in life, we're still going to have to eat and we're still going to have stress, but we don't have to use the C, right? We don't have to use the L. We don't have to use the C. We can make that choice and change it. And you're not really going to lose anything. You're actually going to gain so much more. So many people are afraid that they're going to, you know, end up with cavities or end up with um, gum disease. And the opposite is true when you understand how those things are made and formulated. They're made with ingredients that actually increase the acid and kill all your good bacteria inside your mouth. Watching out for natural products. If you're someone who's made the switch and using natural products, a lot of natural products will do a better job at keeping your bacteria healthy. However, they may not be doing everything that you need to keep your mouth completely healthy. When I formulated my company, Primal Life Organics, I did it with the holistic view. I really wanted to not just make your mouth healthy. I really wanted to affect your teeth your gums, your breath, everything. It's the whole package. If your teeth are healthy and your gums are healthy, you're going to have great breath and you're going to impact everything from there. That's the center of your universe. Everything from there will be healthy. And the three components for a healthy mouth um, that most natural products don't, they don't, um, they don't, I guess we satisfy these three requirements. So these are my three requirements for a healthy mouth um, with the products that you're using. They have to, they have to be alkaline. And most natural products are not alkaline. They may not be completely acidic, but they might be more neutral. And how do you know if a product you're using is alkaline is that it will probably contain baking soda. That's the best natural ingredient that will signify that what you're using is gonna be alkaline. And the reason you want alkaline is a couple reasons. It will support your good bacteria. It will kill the bad bacteria. It will not harm your gum tissue. And it will make it so that minerals will not not leave your teeth. In fact, the opposite will happen. If there are minerals present, they will go back into your enamel and start filling and plugging in the holes where you've lost minerals. The sensitive teeth, if you feel sensitivities to hot and cold, that's a signal that you're losing minerals. And if you lose too many in one specific spot, it becomes a cavity. If you're losing them all over the place, sensitivities is what happens. You get that zing of hot and cold. That leads me to the second component. So it must be alkaline. The second component, it has to have minerals. If your dental products don't contain minerals, then they're not going to put the minerals back in your teeth. They're not going to make your teeth stronger. They're not going to make your teeth whiter. They're going to allow the bacteria and the minerals to leave your teeth and not be not be replaced. So they have to have minerals, they have to be alkaline. And the last component is that they must detox. Whatever you're using has to cleanse the tissues. Your mouth is dirty, it's filthy, it's exposed to heavy metals from water and other things. So if the, and the heavy metals and, and the, the, the different components can get into your gum tissue. Detoxing your mouth is very easily done with clay and, and or charcoal. Clay is my favorite medium because clay satisfi satisfies all three of these components. It is slightly alkaline. Adding baking soda to it makes it even better. Clay has the minerals in the ion form that you need to replace the minerals that you lost in your enamel. It's a lock and key and your teeth have calcium and phosphorus, but they also has manganese and silica and a bunch of other minerals. If you lose a manganese mineral, you cannot replace it with a calcium. That manganese hole will stay a hole in your tooth until you replace it with a manganese under the right conditions. So what I love about clay, pairing it with baking soda, which is what I did for Primal Life Organics and my Dirty Mouth Tooth Powder, I use a blend of three different clays. Uh, bentonite is most commonly used. I use bentonite clay. It's an amazing clay, very healing, very detoxing, but not all inclusive for all the minerals that you need. I add white kaolin because it has some different minerals that bentonite does not have. And then French green clay is one of my favorite because it comes from the French sea and it has phytonutrients. When you think about the sea and the plants that grow there, like LJ, all the nutrients in there are going to help not just your teeth, but your gum tissue heal. Uh, French green clay as a nurse anesthetist where inflammation and pain are the biggest 
hindrances for healing. If you can reduce pain and you can reduce inflammation, and Dr. Anna knows this as well from procedures, if you reduce pain and you reduce inflammation, you can get that patient up and moving and healing much quicker. The same thing inside your mouth. You reduce pain and inflammation and the gum tissue can heal much, much faster. So that's why French green clay is in mind. And then um, using an essential oil for flavor is great for the flavor, but it also helps to increase blood flow, reduce inflammation, and it supports the good bacteria while killing the bad. And it also can be absorbed slightly into your gum tissue so that into the pockets of your gums and the gum tissue itself, it can support the gum tissue as well. Well, I think that's, there's so much good information here. And this is one of the things I love about you, Trina, because I think about you as a nurse anesthetist, right? And you've intubated, you've seen lots of mouths, right? You've intubated and you've seen the diseases associated with poor oral hygiene and all the reasons why, you know, car, you know, uh, disease will develop, right? So there's a lot to this and keeping the mouth healthy. I mean, I can't emphasize it enough. Are cravings your downfall? This is truly typical of anyone trying to lose weight. Let me tell you, willpower is physiologic. Just like Francis discovered, the Keto Green Shake Mix is a tasty and nutritious way to replace a meal while helping you feel full longer and giving you the nourishment, vitamins, minerals, protein, fat that your body needs. So cut your cravings, boost your energy, and improve your overall fitness with the Keto Green Shake Mix. Find Keto Green Shake at dranna.com and use the code SHOW10 to get 10% off your first order risk-free. So, so I wanted you to hit on the red light too, the importance of that. And I'll go back to, I just want to emphasize that because our gums are so critical, like the health of our gums, the health of our mouth, our oral, our oral hygiene, it's critical for our entire, it's critical for longevity at any stage of our life. We know how important that is. And I've seen these products work in, in my life and my, my children's lives. My daughters are big fans. I mean, they raid her booth every time we see her in an event. And uh, my youngest, Ava Marie, she had uh, a lot of dental caries. She had a really um, vicious bacteria in her mouth for, you know, growing up. And, um, and it was creating a lot of dental caries. That didn't stop until we started using her products. And she's 13 now. She uses your um, LED light. She uses your tooth powders. Every once in a while, she'll be using the charcoal powder. And she's like, I don't have to say a word, right? I don't have to say a word. And we just came back from our dental visit. And while she may need some uh, correction for her teeth, for alignment, she may need some braces, she had no cavities. And so it's a really, it's a really, it's so important for the entire health of, of our, our families and certainly of our health and the longevity that we experience. And there's no point in our life where we can neglect our oral health because if we have leaky membrane, right, that means that we don't have good cell to cell communication. That means that unhealthy things happen. And that includes what we can see in the mouth, like HPV, we can see HPV in the mouth, the warts, essentially, um, human papilloma virus that was considered a, a genital problem, a genital disease, but we're seeing it in mouth and throats and cancers in both men and women. And, um, and that's something to really pay attention to because it's going to increase with your increase in, car in blood sugar, increase in acidity of the mouth, increase in diabetes, increase in cardiovascular disease. And, and HPV is a really growing concern among older adults, right? It's not something you think about, but you need to look like, as I tell clients, take your mirror, look and get to know your most important anatomy of your body. That's clitoris to anus, right? Get to know your vagina really know what looks healthy. So you can see, just like we do breast exams every month. So you can see and be really clear to when something's not healthy, when there's the change, How, you know, and one of, you know, part of an exam when we're doing, when I'm doing a anti-aging exam, in, for instance, a longevity or working with my concierge patients, feeling the gums, feeling all through their mouth, 
for any tenderness because you don't necessarily, and if there's tenderness, we've got to look at that. If there's hot spots, we've got to look at that because it starts. I mean, this is again, the primary gateway for longevity and health. So feeling, and everyone can do that now and just, you can put your finger in your mouth and feel around your mouth, feel if there's any tender points and you want to address that with your dentist. You want to look at, now they do beautiful um, green CT scans. So low radiation CT scans that can be done on your mouth and gums to really look and see, okay, I'm feeling a little tenderness here, Trina. All right, I'm feeling that, I'm pushing, stop pushing. But, um, you know, then that's like, a, a, you know, a, a interesting to look at and see those of us who've had root canals, like what is going on under the teeth and the, you know, in the bone, in your um, jaw, what is happening? And so pay attention to that and feel for any lumps, bumps, irregularities, feel for any, you know, and look to see is there, are there any changes? Is there any ulceration, discoloration, it, you know, on the gums, on your tongue, under your tongue, because that's often where we'll find some condyloma, some warts under the tongue as well. And we want to get those addressed. We want to get those treated and taken care of. But as we improve, like, and it's worse with impaired immune system. So higher stress, you know, multiple reasons that that can appear our immune system we want to really address on strengthening the immune system and um, i have my immune blog you guys if you haven't read my immune blog or seen my immune support bundle check that out there's good information there and there's also what i want you to have come flu season on your shelves and ready so that you are well prepared at the first sign of a sniffle you are taking action, boosting your vitamin C, boosting your Mighty Maca, boosting your zinc, adding in N-acetylcysteine to support all phases of detoxification. So that's critically important. Getting to know your body, getting to know what's normal for you, it's, it's really important. So always working to bring you the cutting edge and leaders and really how you know, things that have affected me, the life, my life and my family's life and how this makes a difference in my life. And, and the one, you know, additional piece to, to Trina's product line, which I first learned about this through her is the red, red light for God. And when I used it in my med spa for patients, right. When I had my med spa had, um, a, aesthetic MD and she would do blue light and red light for my patients as well as my esthetician, right? So when she was doing it inside her and in, inside the mouth, right? With this device, I was like, brilliant, brilliant. Wish I'd thought of that. So <laughs> you've got it there. Well, you know, what's interesting is the past year and a half, maybe two years now, gosh, are we going on two years with this crazy, um, you know, virus? We've been putting something like a plastic wrap over the most important part of our body to keep us healthy. What happens when you put something and cover it and smother it so air can't circulate and, and you, you amplify the fact that there's more bacteria, the bad bacteria likes that dark, moist, stagnant air. Um, I remember when I was a nurse anesthetist practicing full time, wearing a mask, and it didn't dawn on me. This was pre-primal life organics days. I was sick all the time. I had bad breath. I was always, you know, chewing gum or mouth, putting breath mints in my mouth because my breath was so bad. I now know why. I totally get it. When we're putting something over our nose and mouth all day long, you're amplifying all the right conditions to grow the bad bacteria. Sometimes you don't have a choice. I get it. You know, that's, that's something that, you know, we have to figure out and how do we as humans try to better ourselves so that we can overcome those things. So if you have, if you're someone who has to wear a mask all the time, um, one of the things I love about the LED and this, even if you don't wear a mask all the time, the LED teeth whitening system that we were talking about does more than just whiten your teeth. It's going to whiten your smile, but the light therapy is what's the brilliant part of it. Because when you think about, um, healing any healing happens most healing happens when there's light or light means energy so when there's energy there's more blood flow more oxygen more detoxification because when you're when you're sick and things aren't good things are dying cells are exploding and there's bad toxic things in there that if there's not enough blood flow you can't get rid of that the the junk you can't get rid of it so it becomes something that your body's trying to work with 
but can't quite heal as quick as you want. You might feel better, you might get you know, less symptoms, but ultimately without more blood flow, you're not gonna get rid of the junk that's toxic. So what I did with the LED that Dr. Anna is talking about is I put light therapy right inside your mouth. So when you put this device inside your mouth, you use the gel, the gel is gonna help with the whitening of the teeth, it's gonna help with strengthening the teeth because it's got the minerals from the clay in it, it's peroxide free, it's not gonna hurt. Uh, but the, the light therapy itself does exactly what light therapy does when you use it other places. So red light therapy, there's a red light setting, let me turn this on and off. The red light it, um, does the same thing for your skin, it's just a different wavelength. This is set directly for your teeth and or your gum tissue and the tissues of your mouth, it's gonna increase blood flow, reduce inflammation and stimulate collagen. And the collagen is extremely important. That's gonna help build back the structure, the infrastructure of your gum tissue and possibly even the bone. The nice thing about light therapy is it doesn't just touch the outer part of your tissue, it penetrates through the tissue at, to some degree. So even between your teeth, the gum tissue, or in the pockets of your gum tissue, it can, it can get deeper into your, your tissues. The blue light setting, the blue light helps to reduce the bad bacteria. The bad bacteria, they've done some studies, um, Harvard's done studies on blue light therapy and the wrong bacteria have this heme um, molecule, which is like a, a, a sense, it's a, probably looks red, heme is mostly associated with like a red, it's but sensitive to blue light and blue light kills it. So good healthy bacteria doesn't have that heme molecule, but bad bacteria does. So what the blue light will do is actually kill the bad bacteria just because of the light therapy. So just think about the power of that inside your mouth. Blue light will also help get rid of some of the staining on the teeth. It helps to do a little bit of the whitening effect. You can do the setting on um, when you get the device, you can use straight blue light, you can use straight red light. Most people will do the combination. This you can't really tell on video that it's a red and blue, but there's 16 of each. So you do 16 blue or 16 red, or you do 32, the 16 of each. So most people choose to do both. Um, the reason we separated them out is more for the extremes. If someone really has gum disease and they are really trying to focus on healing their gums, you can do the red and blue and then do an extra five minutes of straight red or 10 minutes of straight red light. That will be a little bit more powerful for you. Um, the same thing with the blue light. If you, if you have really a lot of um, the wrong bacteria inside the mouth, doing a straight blue light might be a little bit better, even if it's just a five minute treatment. Um, but doing them both is, together is what most people do. So it's called my real, it's called real white because we use real ingredients. It's, it's, you know, it's the real deal is what I like to say. It's the real deal. Um, nothing artificial about it. You're, you're going to get some clay, some olive oil, some essential oils. You're going to use light therapy, which might not but to some people be to be real or natural, but um, it does work in different ways than just using a gel. And peroxide really should be avoided in the mouth for the reasons that we've already talked about. Peroxide's not good for the gum tissue. It's kind of um, abrasive or caustic, if you will. So it, it will help break down the gum tissue. Same thing with the enamel. It will penetrate and break down the enamel. The reason that red light or the reason that peroxide whitens the teeth, the layer beneath your enamel is the dentin layer. And and the dentin is fluid filled. When you start to see the dentin through the teeth, um, through the enamel, um, most of the time your teeth will look dingy and it won't be related to coffee. Could be a little bit, but you can whiten the stains on your teeth from coffee. If your teeth still look dingy, it's probably because your enamel is so thin you're starting to see the dentin. Dentin is usually bluish grayish or yellowish tinged, which is why you get that dingy, dingy look. How peroxide works, your dentin is fluid filled. It's like your shock absorber. So there's um, proteins in there. They're antimicrobial, they're protective. You also have some minerals in there, but for the most part, it's a fluid filled cushion so that every time you bite, you don't feel it. 
it doesn't hurt because beneath your dentin is your pulp, which has your nerves and your blood vessels. Peroxide hurts because it penetrates through your dentin, through your enamel, through your dentin. And as soon as it touches your nerves, it's caustic. Your nerves don't like it and it hurts. And then you, there's the, the possibility that it gets into your, um, into your system as well. But peroxide, the way it whitens is that it dehydrates your dentin. It pulls the moisture, the fluid out of your dentin to make it more opaque. So it won't look as gray or blue or um, as yellowish tinged. It will look more clear. So if you have clear dentin, you also have whiter teeth. The problem is that when you pull the moisture out, you have now reduced the um, structure of the tooth. You've weakened it. So now the inside structure of the tooth has less of the, the, the fluid that is supporting your enamel and you've weakened it. Not to mention that peroxide, if you are someone that still has any mercury fillings inside your mouth, peroxide will cause it to vaporize. And then you are now breathing in mercury, which is toxic for your entire body. So avoiding peroxide in everything, in mouthwash, in toothpaste or tooth, well, usually not in powders, but toothpaste and in whitening con, um, conditions or whitening solutions, um, strips, gels, things like that, uh, avoiding it altogether, which is why when I created my system, I wanted to create something that was only beneficial. It's going to improve your, your, your bacteria, going to get rid of the bad, going to heal your gum tissue and support the enamel remineralization of your teeth. So it's a 15 minute treatment is all you need to do. 15 minutes. It's timed. When this goes off, you're done. Five times a week for the initial, the kit comes with enough for 30 days where so you'll get 20 treatments, five days a week for um, four weeks. And then once you're done with the four weeks, you choose what you feel. But I always say this is like a lifetime commitment. Like this is not something that you're going to use every once in a while. This is a, adding it to your lifestyle. So adding it in to some place where it makes sense. Do it when you're eating or making dinner. The only thing you can't do when you have this in your mouth is you can't talk and you can't eat. So I have a lot of clients who say they found doing it when they're making dinner the most beneficial because you can't snack. You, you can only make dinner. So um, putting it in, doing it when you're answering emails is also another favorite. Um, meditating, some people do it when they're in their sauna or they're meditating, but adding it to a, something that you regularly do so it's not an added thing to your day, but you're just doing it while you're doing something else. And 15 minutes, I usually tell people to get the benefits it's at least once a week. Better if you're doing two times a week. If you're having a slight issue, three times a week is even better. Um, so it's super easy to use. Use it alongside with my dental detox kit and you have your bases covered. You, you've got all the tools that you need. We didn't mention the detox kit, um, but I do want to tell people that, you know, it's, I put it together because it has everything you need in it to keep your mouth healthy or get your mouth healthy enough um, so that you're not dealing with those regular day issues of bad breath and bleeding gums and sensitive teeth leading to cavities. And it comes with um, two different tooth powders, a morning and nighttime tooth powder, the gum serum that we didn't really we mention, but didn't really talk about, but it replaces mouthwash. It's made with olive oil and essential oils that's going to nourish your gums. Comes with a copper tongue scraper that if you take care of it, you, you own it for life. It's not really going to degrade. Then um, my bamboo manual toothbrush and um, our biodegradable toothpicks um, or flossing picks. And then I throw in a detoxing deodorant, mainly because most people are so afraid of um, natural deodorants that I'm gifting you one to try. <laughs> I, I'm tired You're of gonna people- gonna leave a black stain, right? Yeah, yeah I'm, I just get, I, I always hated hearing from people, I gave up with natural deodorant because nothing worked. So I'm gifting you one that might work for you. It, it's yeah, worked for yeah. thousands of people, so maybe it would work. Well, also with natural deodorant, deodorants, the more you use it, the better it is, right? right. It's like, it's, it's detoxing too. And so that's something to say, okay, initially you may not, you know, maybe you'll not be convinced that it's working, but over time, the odors go away and it just improves so much. So right. I think that's something to remember. Your body wants to detox the yeah. toxins. That are in and it. I do want to mention that, you know, make sure that you click through the links that Dr. Anna provides. 
mainly because that is where you're gonna get the best price. I know for the LED, we are offering you guys 65% off what Thank we you. sell it on the website for. That's huge, it's huge. So make sure you click through her links because it's because of our friendship that we do this, that we offer things. And even the detox kits, those are um, much less, like you can get a, a bundle of them. So if you have more than one person in your family, you can buy three or I think there's six kits, gift them you know, for presents it's a great gift um, and then you'll also get the opportunity we, we just came out with a sonic toothbrush and when we were talking about gum disease and I mentioned that the number one cause or one of the main causes for most people of gum recession is that we brush too hard and they have done studies that have shown that just by switching to a sonic toothbrush you because you're not manually doing anything with a sonic toothbrush you hold the toothbrush and the toothbrush does all the work and the vibration the vibration is what can break up plaque it's been proven to break up plaque more and increase the blood flow but the key is that you don't do any of the work you move it from tooth to tooth so you just hold it there um, for a couple seconds on each tooth and then each section of the tooth and just by switching to sonic you're going to get um, an increase in blood flow and then reducing the friction on the the gum tissue so that it has the opportunity to heal and regrow the main thing the main difference with ours and i don't know if you know this anna do you know how long it takes a regular toothbrush to biodegrade a plastic one do you know how long it takes it takes over 400 years wow now multiply that by how many toothbrushes get thrown in the garbage this is why i went to a bamboo toothbrush this is why i decided to do where's my bamboo so this is my bamboo toothbrush the brush head so this has to be plastic the body has to be plastic because it has to be waterproof and not break down but bamboo is the brush head so every time you replace the brush head every two to three months if it's plastic it's going to live in a landfill for 400 plus yeah. years if yeah. it's bamboo, this breaks down in six months. There is no plastic, even the inner part that connects on. So plastic, all of them have typically have a plastic center that will hold it onto the metal spoke. Ours is cornstarch. The bristles are made from plant-based, they're plant-based bristles and cornstarch. The vibration is set lower than your most of the sonic brushes, primarily because what I said before, too much is an more isn't always better. Less is sometimes more, especially when you're talking about the delicate tissues inside the mouth. So it's said it's got a couple cleaning modes that you can use, but the main thing is, is that you're not going to be contributing to 400 plus years in a landfill. When you pitch this six months and it's gone. Yeah. And I think just thinking about what we're doing with our footprint, right? So being more green and supporting businesses that are green and thinking about these things, it's, it does make a difference in the long run in our biologic footprint that we're leaving, we're leaving for other generations. So I appreciate that you think of that and, and your tooth powders, right? Refillable bags that, you know, you send the bags, you can refill your container and all of these things that you've thought out. I love, I love what you do and thanks for bringing the science into it. And um, again, to be able to talk about how important our oral health is for systemic health, for longevity, for the health of our future generations through pregnancy and everything, every little thing that we can do to improve our health so that we have our own teeth as ideally as possible for the rest of our life and we're keeping those. So having had to go through and implant myself after a root canal that I had in my 20s or 30s got infected and it was terrible. It's just a terrible experience. So I want to do everything I can to help people recognize how important oral health is and to keep what we have as long as possible. So Thank you, Trina. Thank you for being with us today. And we will put links to her products, the sale price that she's given us. These are special links that she created for us and, I, and I, for all of you. And I thank you for that, Trina. And I know that's a big deal. So the education, the, the products, the inspiration, the, right now I want everyone just to think, hey, what's my next right step? What can I do for my oral health? What can I do for my oral hygiene? That or what can I what can I omit from my regimen so that I'm I'm really preserving the the um, gut, the integrity of my gum and my teeth and my enamel and um, and how can I inspire others to do this too so. 
nothing like a great smile, right? And so one of the things that I teach in my Girlfriend Doctor Club and in my Magic Menopause program is throughout the day, think of something that makes you smile. I always say it's your, it's your personal logo. So let it shine. Yeah. Yes, that is so true. So today I'm really smiling because I got to have this oxytocin time connection with my dear friend, Trina. And um, thank you, Trina. And we'll, we'll put links to um, these, these offers for the LED and for the detox kit, two things that I absolutely love. My family loves it coming around that corner for the holidays. Honestly, it's, it's a great gift. It's better than anything. So, so with that note, but your website, primallifeorganics.com, she has a whole bunch of stuff and just such great information. Be sure to follow her on her social media, check out Primal Life Organics. And, um, and I can't wait to hear your results. You guys, thank you for being here. Trina, thank Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. I always say we have both ends covered. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Till next time. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here and get those notifications and comment below. Let me know your thoughts, what you loved, and what your action step is.